What's up ladies and gents, welcome to today's Saturday stream where we're going to be playing some Star Citizen again. It's been a while since I've streamed this, although everyone knows that uh, whenever I'm done working for the night, I'm usually playing this game. So when I say that I play this game uh, quite a bit, it's definitely uh, something that I truly mean. Because this is a game that uh, I just absolutely love, and I love showing it off. I just love uh, kind of getting lost in space, going on adventures, and having lots of fun. I know this game has been in development for a very, very long time. It's It's been known since 2012. It's been in development since about 2013 or 2014, somewhere around in there. But uh, the game is just still so much fun to play. Uh, it's getting closer and closer to really realizing what it's going to be able to accomplish. So today we're going to be playing a little bit of it and showing it off. If this is something that you enjoy and you've were thinking about getting the game or checking it out, uh, use my referral code. It's in the description as well as if you look in the top right of this video, uh, you will see the referral code. So when you sign up on Robert robertsspaceindustries.com, uh, and you sign up, um, use that referral code, and you'll get 5,000 free credits uh, to buy, you know, some armor or a weapon or uh, stuff like that. So, what are we going to do today? Well, I've earned enough money to actually do something really cool. So, in my off time, you know, when I'm not, like, recording videos and stuff, I have been working hard uh, doing bounties, doing other types of missions and stuff so that I can make enough money to specifically um, purchase a new ship that I've always wanted to have and I've never been able to have. So I'm really looking forward to this. So here I am at Everest Harbor. You can see our character here. I've just, I don't have any armor or anything particular on. Um, you know, uh, this is just one of the stations that I call base. Uh, I've been here for a while because I've been doing a lot of bounty missions in this area. Uh, so therefore I've, I don't have any armor because when you're doing bounty missions, you're in your ship. And if you do accidentally die, you don't want to get, you don't want to lose whatever armor or weapons you have. If you know you're not getting out of your ship, then there's no reason to, to risk that. So, uh, yeah, but let's go ahead and head out. Uh, we're in front of the planet Hurston. You remember the last video of Star Citizen that I showed off? Showed myself just outside, and you can just see just how beautiful. So down there is actually where we're going to be headed. Uh, you can't see it, but it's right above this big cloud. It's the There's a city called Lorville, and I know for a lot of you, you already know all of this stuff, but if there's anyone out there that hasn't seen it, I want to make sure I explain it correctly to you all. We're going to head down there because we're going to be purchasing a new ship. So let's go to our fleet manager. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. Kimberly, I have not streamed on Facebook in a very, very long time. Um, yeah, I thought I recognized that name. Weren't you on, uh, what you watching us on Facebook a long time ago? It's glad to see you back. Uh, yeah, I haven't streamed on Facebook in a very, very, very long time. Let's retrieve a fighter we have here. Let's go with... Um... Let's take our Hornet down. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the Please following location. Alright, pad two it is. Gonna have to wait a little bit. Yeah, see how yeah, all these are over at pad... Yeah. It's gonna take a little time. Because it's gotta go from uh, where it's at to now, so... So as it's coming up over here, um, yeah, uh, sheesh, it's been at least two years since I've streamed on Facebook. I've always wanted to give it a try again, just to see if people would still watch over on Facebook, but... I try to keep as healthy as I can, Mandrick, uh, but it's tough when you have a very, very bad back. Uh, hold on, where is it? It's at pad two, okay. All right. Uh, still waiting on my VA disability stuff. You know, hopefully that'll come through at some point soon. But we don't know. It could get denied. Um, 
I started doing some uh, DoorDash driving <laughs> yesterday. Me and my wife went out. <laughs> and um, we did our first two, three. First three DoorDash deliveries <laughs> made a whopping $11. <laughs> so, you know, right now we're desperate to do anything to, to make a little bit of money. So, I mean, you know, you got to do what you got to do to take care of your family. So that's really the only thing I can do, even though it really hurts to sit in that car. But, you know, sometimes there's a lot of sacrifices you have to make to uh, take care of your family. But here we go. As you can see, I love the new cloud tech that they put on Hurston. It just looks so good. So beautiful. Really get a sense of scale when you're looking at this planet. Hurston is actually a pretty big planet. All right, so this is our um, Hornet. Hornet's a good fighter. Is it the next Mass Effect? Well, Mass Effect was an RPG. This game is an MMO. So I don't want you to think of this as... I don't want you to think of this as a... Um, as an RPG, because this is not, I repeat, this is not an RPG. This is an MMO. This is a massive multiplayer online game. Okay? Or I guess you could say it's a... I know I will even call it a, a MMORPG. It's just a yeah. All it is essentially Thank you. And please visit again. You have a bunch of players. You have a bunch of things that you can do in the world. You can be a bounty hunter, you can uh you know, uh, do delivery missions, uh mercenary stuff. Um salvaging is going to come into the game soon. All different kinds of things that you can do, but it's a massive multiplayer game. So you cannot you cannot think of it as uh, as as like a Mass Effect RPG or even like Starfield. You can't compare the two. They're literally uncomparable because Starfield is a Starfield is an RPG. This is not an RPG. Okay, uh, this is seamless landing between planets. Something that you don't get in Mass Effect. Something that you don't get in Starfield. Like you're not going to see this right here in Starfield. Like, I don't even think you can fly your ship on planet in Starfield. At least they haven't shown that off yet. Or you definitely can't land ships in Starfield. That's all automated. Uh, this is... Everything is done by you, by the person. So if you want to compare it to something, compare it to, you know, Star Wars The Old Republic. Compare it to the MMORPGs or the MMO games. Except this one's set in space. So compare it to Star Wars Galaxies or... Star Trek Online or something similar to that, you can have a tiny comparison. But this is just trying to be the end-all space simulator. So it's definitely, yes, it's closer to Elite Dangerous than it is Starfield or Mass Effect. Um, but it's even more than Elite Dangerous because Elite Dangerous doesn't have these type of planets that you can land on. Um, these type of bases that you could see on planets. I mean, it has bases on planets, but they're not, you know, like this. You can finally get out of your ship, of course, but it's still Thank not to the level again. of what this is. Although there is only, you know, one star system. They're building the second star system right now. It's coming, but it's just, you know, Thank you for contacting not quite there yet. Assist. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So what we're going to do is call for a landing. Proceed to landing bay. It's going to tell us where we can land. Probably right in here somewhere. Yep. Yeah, these types of games are really... Oh, shit. No, 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 no! Oh, I think I'm... Oh, okay, I'm okay. Woohoohoo! Okay, that was close. Sorry, guys, I'm streaming it, and when you stream, it really taxes your computer a lot. Uh, when you're playing this game, so it can be a little laggy or whatever, but when I'm not streaming the game runs at like 70 frames I mean, it's perfect, but when you stream it really really tanks uh, Your computer so even even with my uh, RTX 3090 it really really uh, tanks it a lot. So let's land 
There we go. Perfect landing. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. All right, yeah, see, I'm getting really, really low frames, and I usually never get low frames like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change it back to full screen. That should bump up my frames a, f a little bit. Okay, so, as you can see, this is something you just don't, you, you can't accomplish this here in, you know, other games. Like, you can do this with Elite Dangerous, you can look around your ship, but, um, look around it, though. You can't actually, in Elite Dangerous, go inside your ship and look around your ship. Whereas in this game, every ship is actually has an interior, it, it has a purpose, it's, you know, it's really, a, this is so immersive. Alright, so we're at Loreville, and we are going to buy a ship. So, this is a ship that I have wanted to buy, I mean, forever. It's one of the, it's probably considered one of the best fighters in the game. And I finally made enough money. Now, what did I have to do to make all of this money in order to be able to get this? There's a few different things I've done to do this. Um, essentially, I've done all kinds of missions. So if you press F1, it brings up your um, Moby Glass. Now, all this is going to change. It's going to look better. It's going to be better. But I've got 2 million, uh, 12,797 credits. So, in order to get that much money, I had to do all kinds of missions, and here's all the missions that you can select to do. Um, first of all, we're going to go ahead and accept a call to arms. This just gives you money for, you know, taking anyone out that is wanted. Um, so that's a very, very good thing to make sure you have. So yeah, for, like I said, because I'm streaming this right now, and I'm streaming it at a very high quality, um, it's really taken the frames. I can just assure you that normally the frames will not be this bad so like actually it says i'm getting 43 to 44 frames but it doesn't look like that but that's because i'm streaming so what i'm going to do is give me just a quick second i'm actually going to can i change it no unfortunately i can't i've got it on ultra low latency So, unfortunately, I don't think I can change that. That's okay. Because actually, I'm getting 52, 55 frames right now, but my gameplay is not showing that because um, this, my, I'm streaming at the same time in ultra low latency mode for you guys. Hey. So that kind of makes it mute. look, you know, way worse than it is. But it, I'm actually getting 60 frames. It's kind of weird. Alright, so here we are at New Deal. Sorry about the screen. That's a, The screen looks a little glitched here. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down. We should have enough money, if I've calculated it. We're going to go to Aegis. And we're going to go down to the Sentinel. Oh my god, we barely made it. Look at that. With only 797 credits left, we actually have enough to get the ship that I have been waiting for for so long. And I only had 797 credits left to my name after we purchased the ship. Alright, so here we go. This is a big step. We're losing 2 million credits. You can see all these other ships, like that's 8 million for the Redeemer. Uh, each ship, you know, for one of the Cutlass Black, it's a million three. Uh, crazy, crazy stuff. But this is one of the best fighters that you can get. So here we go. I can't believe I'm doing this. And we just did it. I think there we you go. Just made one hell of a good decision. And there you go, ladies and gents. We now are a f an official owner of the Aegis Vanguard Sentinel. And I, I'm a happy camper. All right. Let's go to the terminal for this. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. All right, there it is. Look at that, baby. The Aegis Vanguard Sentinel Heavy Fighter. Vehicle selected. Stand by. I can't tell you how, like, actually, truly excited. Like, I've worked my butt off every night 
for the past few weeks to get enough money for this. All right, so where are we at? It's Hangar 8. This is one of the best fighters that you can currently get in the game. And I've, I've worked my butt off for it, man, because I don't do the cheap ways of making money, of farming stuff and all that. I don't do any of that. I, I, I really, really work for the money. All right, let's take a look at this. Make it all nice and slow as we walk up to it. Now, I've flown this ship before, but I've never purchased it or owned it. So this is why I'm so excited. So I know how to fly the ship. I'm, I'm very well aware of the ship. I've had the ship uh, on many occasions during free flights and stuff, but I've just never uh, I've actually owned it. And now I can finally say I actually own it. Look at this big, bad beauty. And the coolest thing about this ship is all the weapons for the pilot are right at the front. First of all, you've got a- this is, I believe, a size 4. I think it's gimbaled. We can turn this into a size 5 to make it even more, uh, punchy. And then you've got four size 2s right there. But they're all fixed. Because what gimbal- between gimbaled and fixed, gimbaled means- think of it as you put it on like a rotator. Um... I was just saying, he just hit me. Um, Johnny, you just hit me. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, anyways, um, they can be rotated, meaning that wherever you aim is where the bullet goes or where the laser goes. Whereas if it's fixed, it's wherever your ship is aimed, not where your cursor is aimed. So it's a little different. You can see, and there's also a turret at the very top. I love the blue aesthetic of the Sentinel. So what's what's so special about the specific Sentinel? Well, the Sentinel has an EMP. So if you take the shields out, you can use an EMP blast, which will render a ship inoperable. It'll just shut down, and then you can easily take a ship out. So there's many, many uses for, uh, for EMPs, and uh, this is a, a great ship with an EMP. All right, let's go ahead and head inside. Is there like a new, new, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, you have to press it. Is it down here now? No. What the hell's going on? Is there like a button now you do? Or is it just right there? Okay, so this is weird. Uh... I know I'm not an idiot. I've been in this ship many times. Starfield ad on the stream? That's hilarious. There it is. I guess you just gotta be... Okay, you need to be about right here to do it. Okay, I got you. I was just... It, is, it has been a while since I've uh, flown this ship. But here we go. So let's take a look inside. Uh... Open door. Alright, here we go. So we got storage departments. This is, uh, I guess where you're going to be able to store some of your gear. Munitions. So if I, I can put my weapons right here. I'm sorry, I'm trying to close that. There we go. You know, it might be, it might be glitched because it says open door. Got a bathroom. We're a vampire, so we don't have a shadow. Um, this is a, the Sentinel, so you're going to have, like, this station where you're going to be able to do some really cool stuff. Engineer station. It's not implemented in the game yet. Or, you know. Um, two beds. Uh, I believe they're escape pods, too, so you can escape in them if your ship uh, is going to crash or something. All right, let's go ahead and take this baby out. 
So what's great about this ship is not only can it do it can be great for fighting, or for you know dog fighting and stuff like that, but it's also you can do your delivery missions in it as well. All right. So what we need the first thing we need to do is hit F11 and call the landing services. You can actually set this up to a button on your computer now. I just haven't done it yet. You are clear to launch. All right, so here's the ship. As you can see, the top is opening. I mean, isn't this a beauty? Lift off. It looks like we're clear. And away we go. Let's, uh... Uh, landing, landing gear, let's put it back in. As you can see, there it comes out. Nice. It's a beautiful ship. Alright. Let's, uh, let's get out of here so we can get some better frames. Alright. Just go to, right before you get to 90 degrees, once you get to 90 degrees, it means you're going back the other way. So if you're right about 80 to 85, it will take you a lot less time to get out of the atmosphere. And you can see we're leaving uh, the station. Like I said, if you're seeing any frame dips, it's only because I'm streaming. It's not because it's not what I'm getting. I'm actually getting like over 60 to 70 frames. But because I'm streaming, uh, it's kind of tanking it. I usually like to stay right around 80 because it's usually the best. But you got to be careful. See that little thing coming up? That's like kind of the indicator of where your ship is actually looking. When it's in the center, it'll stay right where it needs to be and you should be good to go. We're getting further and further out of atmosphere. As you can see, the clouds. Just love the way this game looks. It's just so amazing. All right, so let's get out of here and let's just do our first, let's do a combat mission and test it out. As you can see, we've got one, two, three, four, five weapons. And on the right side, you see REP VS power. That is your, um, that is your EMP. We're not gonna be using the EMP really right now um, until we get better with the ship. Uh, so let's go ahead and set up a mission and test this uh, combat capabilities. We're going to do something easy for now. So I'm just going to set up a very low-risk target, which this should be super easy to take out. Make sure we track it. Find out where the target is with our skyline. Neutralize. It looks like this one is going to be... Yep, it's going to be actually on... Yep, this one's going to be on on planet, so we're going to be in atmosphere. Okay, we should be up 91,000. We're up enough to be able to uh, travel to this area. Yep. Hey, what's up, Garrett? How you doing, bud? All right, we're ready. Quantuming, as you can see. We're leaving that. And then we're going to be heading towards the new one. I mean, just look at how beautiful this is. And boom, goes the dynamite. There we go. Like I said, the only reason it, it's running slow is because I'm streaming. I mean, normally when I'm not streaming, it literally is just smooth as freaking butter now. They've improved the optimization so much. Like I said, currently I'm getting uh, 60 frames, 65, 70, 75. It's just because I'm streaming, it slows the game down for me for whatever reason. I just can't handle the... Um, because it, this game uses a lot of CP, so you got to be careful with it. Hopefully it won't screw us up when it comes to combat, but we're going to see. All right, so we're getting closer. We also got missiles. We've got 
four Dominator 2s, we've got uh, uh, Arrestor 3s and Ignite 2s, so we've got a lot of missiles. We don't need any missiles to take this ship out. Missile incoming, even though I can't even see where the... You gotta be careful here because you can't see the ground. There's our target. Man, they're really throwing missiles at me, aren't they? Just like that. Mission accomplished. Take this guy out. They're throwing, like, every missile they can at me. It's hilarious. There we go. Oh, it took... Oh my god, it took my shield down, dude. I couldn't even get out of that. Oh, I think we're okay, though. Oh my god, it's still... Uh-oh. I can't even... We got major... I think we're done. Yeah, look at that. It took both of my... <laughs> that could not be a very low target. There is no... That had to have been a... Look at this. We have no wings. <laughs> what the hell? No, there wasn't a gimbal on it. That's a size 5, so there's no gimbals. They're all fixed. Wow, it took out both... both of my wings. I mean, at this point, there's no... That could not have been a very low. There's... In a very low, you're not gonna get, like, four ships coming after you in a very low risk target. I think it was a glitch. It had to have been. Uh, there's literally no way- I don't think I can do anything to fix this. Like, there's gonna be no way that I can- EMP system is offline. Uh, yes, another player can still rescue me in this situation. But right now it's not really worth it. I can still fire my weapon, see? Um... Yeah. But I can't control my ship at all. I can control the rotation of my ship. But as you can see, I I don't have any let's see, if I I can I can power off. Let's see. Engines offline. Systems offline. There we go. Now our system's offline. But we're still in a constant rate of spin. That's hilarious. And now we're entering the atmosphere, oh god. Yep, we just entered the atmosphere. Well, we've been in the atmosphere. We're about ready to, um, say goodbye. Alright, here we go. Let's see if we can survive this somehow. This is gonna be hilarious. I'm in the chip! No! <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. No, they took out our... 
they took out a lot of our stuff, so I couldn't do anything. I was pretty much dead in the water. No, that's what happens, man. They, uh, they had a bunch of... What I mean by there was a glitch is that I did a very low... Very... See? Now all of a sudden, all because it was a restricted area. No! I'm in prison! What? It, it took me to prison for trespassing first degree. So I took out a target. Attention! Attention! Which was, Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our which was a target I needed to take out. But released. because I was in for a very long time, I was circling Good that restricted world, area. Civilian. It put me in prison. I'm literally in prison right now. So you guys get to I did not expect myself to be in prison. Especially after doing a mission where you're taking out bad people. That's just hilarious. Alright. We should be in prison long. It was only a trespassing fine. I'm surprised they just didn't give me, like, one fine instead of taking me straight to prison. Ready to take the next step yeah, there's there's a few things we could do. I, I just want to see how long it says I'm supposed to be in prison here. Alright, it's a very, very short... Yeah, 15 minutes is all it is. So, there's two different things I can do here. One of them... ...is... ...mining. I can go out and mine. You'll see I have a new outfit on. So I can go out and mine. I can try to escape. Oh, that's still got my ship there. Did you know that I can go out and try to escape, or I can do a mission. Yes, I have done jail time before here in Star Citizen. See, I did get paid for it, see? I I did get paid for it. So we click on Contracts Manager, Maintenance, Opportunity. So I'm just going to do this mission. Reset the Oxygen Kiosk. Uh, repair... Two kiosk in Route 1, Depth 6. Again, you can also mine rocks. Or you can do missions. So I am going to... I'm just going to do the mission. Yeah, if you do criminal stuff, you could be here longer. I've got a very simple sentence. Just for trespassing, so it's 15 minutes is all it would take. So, Route 1... But it says depth six. This is a very low gravity planet or moon. So there's a lot of jumpity jumpity you can do. And we need to go to depth six. Now, how do you know what depth six is? Well, you'll see here this is depth one in route one. So you follow the green signs. Depth two. Yeah, six is pretty easy to get to. That's just the first, uh... Attention! Attention. Although it says repair, too. Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our Shit. guests has completed their rehabilitation and is being released. Let's give them a Alright, so of someone applause. just completed that Good mission, so I have to world, do another one. Civilian. Someone literally just completed it, and now there's no mission, so it looks like I have to mine. Okay. Yeah, so what that means is someone is out here, and they literally just did the same mission. So, they've already refilled it, which means that I can't do it anymore. Which, that's okay. I mean, it happens. We just, we'll, we're just we gonna continue to go a little deeper because we want to get some good rocks. So, we'll go, like, to four or five, and then we'll start looking for some rocks. We should be... Uh, he might not be... In, he's gotta be in this area, so... We should be seeing a guy come back at some point. I think it's over here. Yeah, there he is. See, that's the same guy. 
to he just did the mission that we were going to do. Oh, now we have one. Contract available. All right. So now we can do it. Oh, but it's in Route 3, Depth 9, so I don't think it's worth it. We're already here. Why don't we just do, uh, we'll just do some mining. Because then it wants me to go to Route 3, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going, I'm not, I'd have to go all the way back. Let's just do some mining. We'll go to Route 6, because usually you can find some good rocks by the time you get to Route 6. And I can also show you where that repair kiosk would have been. You also have to worry about your oxygen, guys. You got to remember that um, you'll need to get back quick uh, so that you don't run out of oxygen. All right, there's six. So what you're going to see right here is the kiosk that we would have had to do right here. We can uh, fill our oxygen up a little bit. There we go. Now our oxygen is up. All right, so now we can start mining. It has not been an alpha for 10 years. The game didn't become an alpha until about 2014. All right, so now we're looking for mineable objects. All right. All right, let's turn our flashlight on. There is seven. Let's look over here first. So we're looking for rocks that have a weird texture on them. Kind of like a colored texture, kind of like that, but a little different. They'll really stand out to you. You'll be able to easily see them. All right, I've got nothing yet. There's one. All right. It looks like just to be regular uh, Dolphin, probably. Yeah, that's all right. We're, we'll do the first one. So it's skating. Attention. Attention. Please direct your attention towards the front gates. There one we go. Our guests has completed their down. And is so being use your scroll Let's wheel. That determines your power. You see the thing on the left side of the screen the going up. Civilian. Get to where it's in between the green. Make sure you're at 100% power. It's eventually going to go all the way up. Give it time. It'll take a little time sometimes. Might have to get closer. There we go. Okay, so as it's going up, once it gets into the green, then you want to start slowing it down. And now, okay. Oh, go back down. Wait for it. Let it calm down. There we go. All right, it's in the green. Try to keep it there. Almost. No, go back up. Go back up. There we go. No, go back down. It's very hard to do, man. Sometimes. All right, it's going to break up. All right, there we go. Now, every little thing that it picks up, you're going to see these little things here. You're going to go ahead and hit store. Is that it? I can't, I don't see any more. Yeah, I think that's it. Yeah, I don't see any more right now. Okay. We didn't really get a lot because we didn't do a very good job of breaking that up. Could be server issues. It could be whatever that, that 
keeps that thing from moving as good as it can. And this is essentially what you're doing. You're just, you're looking for these types of rocks right here. Another Dolvine. Almost there, and we're in. Come on, there we go. Keep it in the green. It can be a little diff a little difficult to do. And it's all about your scroll wheel. Come on, come back up. Come back down. No. There we go. Yeah, usually I don't have this much problems, but right now that thing is just moving around way too much. I don't, I don't, I think it broke. Yeah, I don't see any. Yeah, there's none. That thing broke. So we didn't get any from that because it exploded on us instead of actually giving, well, it did, it just moved them all the way out here, wow. Normally it doesn't give you this much trouble. This could be, just be a crappy server. There's so many things that it could, could be causing it to, uh, kind of jump around like it is. Because there should be no reason why it's that hard to control, especially Dolvine is very, very easy to get. So that tells me that it's definitely a server issue. All right, anything else? I'd say it's almost been 15 minutes too. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and head back. Because we only had 15 minutes here, so there's no reason to waste in too much time. And I'm sure whatever we did get, which is just a few... By the time we get back, it's going to be time that we're going to be able to go anyways. Just follow the signs that say exit. If you needed to uh, get some more air, you could do so there, but we should have enough air. See how we're jumping around everywhere? Alright, so once we get back, we're going to turn in what we have, and I'd say we should have enough time to, of time served that we're going to be able to immediately exit, probably. Would be my guess. I saw something. I don't know what it was, though. Oh, thanks for the subscri uh, subscription, bud. I appreciate it. Okay, you should be getting close. Remember, we don't need to do that mission. Because we should be able to uh, turn in what we have and then leave. Essentially, you can also escape from prison. You have to go through a bunch of different tunnels, and uh, uh, it's like a parkour type of experience. But yes, you can... I don't think it's there. I think it's over here. No? There it is. All right. And you can... I mean, there, you can go back very, very deep, too. There are a lot of layers to these cave systems. All right, here we go. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn in what we've collected. Do 
Here's a friendly reminder to leave all materials found during all right. expeditions outside the living area. Deposits. These might contain contaminants that may be Success. We've reduced time on your sentence. Isn't that great? Congratulations. You have completed your required sentence in our facility. We at Klesha Rehabilitation are extremely proud to have played a role in your rehabilitation and hope that you've used this time no, I'm to not better sure. yourself see. as a human and as a member of civilized society. I think I'm good. Yeah, C zero right here. All right, so we could go ahead and leave. So we just go to the exact opposite side. And this route will now be available to us. Yep. Attention! Attention! Please direct your attention towards the front gates. One of our guests has completed their rehabilitation and is being released. Let's give them a round of applause. Good luck back in the world, civilian. There we go. Now what's going to happen? It's going to magically take us to um, the, the our, our fort or our station that we're kind of located around. Yeah, the, Justin, the attention to detail is quite amazing. And there we go. Now, as you can see, we're back where we started. Perfect. Yeah, see, so yeah, it looks like this server has is a little buggy from what people are saying we'll we'll try to do we'll try to do another uh combat mission here um honestly i don't understand how i died on a very low risk target that's those are the lowest targets you can do and it's usually only one person yet there was about four ships and they were good ships. They weren't like just normal ships. They were actually good fighting ships, which tells me that it gave me the wrong one. Welcome to the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. All right, so as you can see, it was destroyed. Thank you for subscribing, Chad. Um, so we need to claim it. What's its claim? Claim time is 10 minutes. 58 seconds. Now, for 5,000, we can get it for 3 minutes 30. We're not going to do that. We'll wait for it. We are, We should have another ship that we can take. Like this right here, we've got the Anvil Arrow. Um, we have got the Banu Defender that we can take out. Let's do a mission with the Anvil Arrow. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has Tab been three. delivered to the following location. It looks like all these are going to take a while. Hey, we found a lobby. But it doesn't want to open. We just got to wait for the elevator. All right, there we go. Where are we going? Pad three? Did I use flares? No. A paid favor, what is that? Miles Eckhart, hey. I already got his missions, though. Uh. 
must have reset. I guess when you go to prison, prison. <laughs> I guess when you go to prison, it resets your your missions. Because I've already done the Arlington missions, so there's no reason unless he's given me a new one. All right, here is the Anvil Arrow. This is a good ship too. Set up a, another easy mission here. See, very low risk target. That should be the easiest of all the targets. It's on a wreck site. It's a very low risk, which is why clearly it had to have, have been a problem. Why is my hand up? <laughs> my hand's like, hey! My, my hand's like, hey, let's go do this. I have never... Okay, this server must be completely glitched. Because I have never seen that before. That is a new one. <laughs> my hand's like, hey, yo. How y'all doing? I'm doing just fine. Throw your hands in the air if you're a true player. The roof, the roof, the roof is on fire. This is going to be totally tough to do this. This is going to be hilarious too. All right, we should be, that should be showing up. Yeah, this thing must be really glitching out today. Alright, let's zoom in. Oh, it won't even let me do this. It's it it always lets it always lets you fast travel to these missions. So But this one it is not. I have never... I think it's gonna have a 30k here soon. That's the only thing I could think of. We're gonna- we're gonna ride it out though. We're gonna, um... We're gonna go where it wants us to go. So this is going to take a little time to get there. You'll see how long you can actually travel without being able to quantum. I mean, just look at that beautifulness though, right? She's like, I'm going to drive this with one hand. Watch me, y'all. See, this one's going to take a little time to get there. No, if I press backspace, it's going to kill me. I don't want to do that. Sometimes you just got to admire the beautifulness. Like, I can do this with one hand. <laughs> I don't know why my hand is like that. <laughs> Holding down backspace, backspace is, is a uh, self-suicide. We're getting closer.
Well, maybe some ships have uh, uh, where you can, uh, whatever you call it, uh, destroy the ship. Self. Uh, how do you call that? Self destruct? Now we know definitely something is wrong because look at my alt. Yeah, this server is pretty bad. It says I'm in the atmosphere at 92,000, but that's not. Yeah, definitely. We'll do this one thing and then we'll hop onto a different server. Yes, <laughs> we have been, uh, uh, yeah, this server is definitely not the bestest of servers. It's, it's, this server's probably been on for a day or two. Okay, there he is. All right, neutralize. Let's see if we can take him out first. I don't, this ship does have, okay. Get down. Uh oh, we're gonna die. Okay. I just kidding. see him. Where is he? There he is. Would you stop shooting me? So I did, I actually landed on the ground and hit the ground, but luckily I still lived. But we did take him out. We got major torque and balance though, so let's see how this ship looks. Ship doesn't look too bad. Uh, at this point, uh, we're going to start up a new server, so I'm going to go ahead and exit. We did the mission, we completed it. Thank you for subscribing, John, I appreciate it. Let's find a, a better, hopefully, a better server here. Yeah, so I was, uh, I was strafing him so much that I didn't realize where the ground was because our alt altimeter was bugged because of the server. You know, when you get when you land a good server, man, the game feels like just the absolute heaven. But if you do end up getting a bad server, it can get really frustrating, so you got to be careful. I am not using a Hotas, no. I do have Hotases, uh, but I am not using one currently. I'm just using mouse and keyboard. This game actually plays very, very well with mouse and keyboard. Surprisingly well. Welcome to 
the ASOP vehicle retrieval system. All right. What? Why? Why is the Aegis Vanguard Sentinel stored there? Okay, release. Okay, that's weird. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has All been right, delivered to the following location. Like I said, man, it's so crazy how when you stream this game, because, what does that say, pad, pad one? Uh, because the game is so, as of right now, very, very heavenly relied on CPU, streaming is, has a lot to do, let's do a low risk, uh, with your CPU. It makes it very, very difficult have the best experience when you stream it. Alright, we got our mission. We're going to take out our new Vanguard Sentinel. Hopefully we don't end up prison this time, right? We went to prison because the mission that we were doing um, was an was an atmospheric mission that was right above a police detention center and because we stayed so long while we were spinning in that restricted area the game said well if you're going to stay here then we're going to give you a fine and because I died instead of paying the fine boom immediately um, I went to prison that was the only reason we went to prison No, you have a thing called insurance in this game. So anytime you crash a ship, you have to claim that ship with your insurance. It takes a little bit of time. This one took, what was it, eight minutes, ten minutes to get back? Um, now, when the game releases, you'll have different levels of insurance. One level is three months, six months, a year, ten years. And let's say if you get a three-month insurance. Well, that means for three months, you can get your ship back. And all you have to do is wait the amount of time it takes to get it back. However, if you don't have insurance, when you crash and lose your ship, it's gone forever. So insurance is what you want because insurance will help you, essentially. That's the, that's the premise of it. All right, so we're going over there, which means that we need to... Thank you. Please no, hold on. I'm gonna have to hit F2. I'm gonna have to set it up. Because it's right behind the planet that we're currently at. This is another one that's over top of... Yeah, this is another one that is over top of the same thing that happened last time, so we got to be careful. Or I could end back up in prison again. Wow. When you're streaming the game, it really just has a hard time running. Because when I'm not streaming, man, this thing runs, it's just so super smooth. Like I said, it says 65 frames right now. 67, 71. That's how many frames I'm actually getting. But it's slowing the game down because of the CPU. Because I'm streaming, it's so weird. making everything come in. Very weird. Thank you for the subscription, Geddon. I appreciate it, bud. Here we go. 
Okay, this does actually have... Okay. So we got a size 4 on this. Let's use our dominatrix. They're size 2s. Let's do three size 2s and see if it takes them out. Probably will. Chris, do you have the, the bell I, I, uh, icon on? Make sure you click that bell to remind you of when all of my things are, or when I'm live streaming. See, this, this planet's really tough because it's very, very hard to see. See what I mean? Very, very hard to see with this planet. So we're getting closer and closer. Eventually, it's going to show us where this target is. And there's going to be other enemies around, too. So I'm going to try to bomb him as much as I can. See, it's it's definitely glitched. Our uh, altimeter says we're 67,000 feet in the air, which, as you can clearly see, we're not. That's the ground. You can literally see the ground below us. So don't fall for that. It's glitched out right now. Okay, there's our target. We got a radar lock. There he is. Okay. This will lock. Wait for it to get all the way up. And... Go. Three missiles out. Okay, it hit him. It wasn't enough to take him out completely, but he should be very, very damaged at this point. And he's done. Got him. Man, the frames on this. Holy crap, what the hell? I don't know why the frames are doing all this. destroying this guy with with all the firepower and he just does not seem to be like phased at all by it like I don't even know if he's getting hit it's so weird hi honey there we go we got him okay we got him hey Yawa Hello. All right, let's take this guy out. Okay, y'all let us recharge here. And now. Oh, crap. I hit the ground again because the altimeter doesn't work, so I don't know where I am located on the ground. I just, just hit the ground again because of that. Got 
Got him. Okay. How much of my ship did I just destroy? All right, I lost a wing. All right. But we're still okay. Let's get out of here. Come on, stay with me. Stay with me. Yeah, it's forcing me to fly this. Oh, no. Oh, this is going to be tough. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Because I only got one... One wing. And I'm in atmosphere. It's really screwing me up here. It's, it's forcing me to fly left or right. Yeah, they need to fix these uh, atmosphere missions because right now they are so glitchy and bugged. I can't keep the... Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to to do this. Anytime that I try to move... Like, watch what happens. See, it moves my ship to the right. Which makes it almost impossible... There we go. Okay, I can do it. I can do it. I just gotta do boost. There we go. I can boost it. Okay. There we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Cause we're getting out of the atmosphere now, so that's good. Okay, don't go too fast. Right now this is working. I need to get my ship back. You see what I mean? Like this is this is the type of gameplay I love. Like our ship almost got annihilated. But it didn't. We can just barely get it to get repaired. So that's what we're trying to do. Okay, so at this point, I'm going to set back to the Hurston Everest Arbor. All right. Um, eventually, you can spacewalk, yes. Eventually, you're going to be able to fix your ship like that, yes. But right now, in order to fix your ship, you have to go to, uh, a station of some sort. To get it fixed. This is not pre-recorded gameplay, no. This is live. Seven streams. That is when they are pre-recorded because I already. Oh, see. Oh, we got a, an enemy out here. I can't take this enemy on. I would get annihilated. This is not good. Oh my god! I can't move forward. I would normally take out this player. It's an actual player who's wanted. But because my ship is not good right now, there's I can't I wouldn't be able to fight him because I can't move I can't maneuver like you should be able to right now. You see what I mean? Like the ship is so wibble wobbly. Right now I'm just trying to get close enough to the station to where he can't shoot me and kill me. There we go. God, no, come on. Okay, it should be good again. Thank you, and please visit again. Hello, and thank you for contacting EDL Landing Assist. There we go. I should be okay. Please proceed to assign landing bay. 
There it is. In touchdown. All right, now let's take a look. How much damage to the ship did this cause? Look, we already have 16,000. Remember, we had 797 when we bought the ship. Now we've already gained 16,000. So to repair this, it would literally cost almost... It would cost 11,000 to repair this ship. 11,000. Honestly, it's not worth losing 11,000. So what... So what we're going to do, it's not worth that. I don't mind dying. Because we're just going to start right back right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that guy. Where's he at? I'm going to let him kill me. Or I'll try to kill him. Most likely let him kill me. Thank you. And please visit again. If he's still out there, I don't know. I don't see him out here. Who's this guy? He's not wanted, so it's just a normal player. He's firing at something. I think he just destroyed that. Is that the same person? But this time he's in blue. He's not red anymore. So that's what makes me think it's not. He just, he must have destroyed that red ship that was out here. Oh, there's a guy right there. You could literally see him in front of us. All right, so essentially, as soon as he goes back into his ship, I think... He's going to turn red. Let's see if it does. No, it's still blue. Alright, as long as he's blue, then there's nothing I can do. Because I would, uh, I'd go to jail if I started shooting at him. He's blue, which tells me that... Let's scan him. Courier... Visible, tells you all of his weapon systems...
What is he doing? He's getting back in his ship. No, you can't repair the ship from the outside. He's not repairing it. You can't do that. Okay, so what I want to do is... Get ready for the magic. Get ready. Come on, baby. How long does it take? I had to do that. I, di I didn't want to waste 11,000. That would have been way too much. Yeah, I don't want to blow the other guy up. It might send me to jail, so that's why I was a little further away. Yes, you get to file a claim for the ship. Doesn't matter what happens to your ship. If it blows up, it doesn't matter if it's your fault or anything. I think the way that this is running so slowly is because I'm streaming in ultra low latency. I'm going to try something real quick, guys. Give me just a second. I'm going to see if this works. I doubt that that did anything. So unfortunately I can't change the uh, the latency of the stream. So that's, that's just something I have to live with. Next time I do a Star Citizen stream, I will not turn the latency to the minimum. Because all that does is slow the game down so much. That's not a good idea. You can see where our body is, so we can literally go over We could literally go over to where our body is, and uh, let's say if we had some cool things on it, like weapons, we could go and retrieve it, see? Can be found at the corpse AR marker. System. And as you can see, it's destroyed, so we would need to claim it. Welcome. Takes 11 minutes. Your insurance claim has been sent. We need to claim the arrow too because it was done for. Your insurance claim has been sent. Let's take our Bandu Vehicle Defender. Stand by. So I have one of the coolest ships in the game, but it's not out in the game yet. Has been called the Bandu Merchantman. And for having that ship, you get this ship. This is These are alien ships. The Bandu Merchantman is going to be a very, very big ship. Like, massive. But it's not ready yet. I think it's going to be probably ready either next year or the year after. It's going to take a while. They're currently making it right now. But... In the meantime, you get the Banu Defender, which is a light fighter that's made in the same style of that ship. So, pad two. It's a really cool ship, though. 
Well, I mean, right now their main focus is getting Star Citizen, the uh, Squadron 42 single player, out there. So sometimes that leaves the PU in the dust, but it's it's the PU is still very is enjoyable enough, in my opinion. Starfield content? No, this is not. Almost at 100 likes, everybody. Help us out. Smash that thumbs up button. This is a really cool ship, as I said. This is the Banu Merchantman. It reminds you, it looks like a crab, I think. It's the best way to describe it. another g gang member but I don't think we can take him out of this thing that's gonna be pretty hard we a lot of ships with it too Let's try one of these. I haven't done a, uh, I haven't done one of these missions in a while. Alright. I've got to show you how cool this one looks, so I'm gonna set... ...this up here. Okay. So you guys can see what's about to happen here as we leave. Thank you. And please visit again. Check this out. Looks like a crab. A lot of juicy meat in those uh, arms right there. Union, thank you so much for the $2. Loving the game. Thanks for streaming it. Thank you so much, bud. Appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, my friend. I didn't realize that I had the thing too low, I guess. Why is that not showing up? Ah, there it is. My bad. Make sure everybody gets their desserts when they're doing when they're helping us out here. Just could it keep it low. That's fine right there. So thank you so much. Yes, you can seamlessly travel from space to planet. It's all seamless. All right, we're getting close. <laughs> Do 
This ship is one of the better fighters, in, especially in atmosphere. It does really, really well in atmosphere. All right, we made it. Heading to the Quantum Beacon. All right, there's one. We need to destroy a total of nine of these. You're going to see them all over. There's going to be ships that we have to take out as well. We're probably going to end up dying. But that's the fun of it. And we're going to turn on gimbaled mode. Wait till we get close enough. See, these weapons I don't think are that good. Weapons too hot. Attack on shields. There it goes. We finally got it. Destroyed. My no. god, yeah, it's What the hell is There we go. Alright, no, not that one. Here it is. Alright, we can get we can get some This is just too difficult to stream and play this. It really is. That's a shame, too. Almost got him. Knock it off. You're trying to kill me and you're asking me to knock it off? Yeah. Right now, either the servers are just so bad. We're pretty much gonna die. There's just nothing we can really do. We're getting, like... I can't even take out one ship. Right now. And there's about six. Look at how many ships are surrounding us. And this ship just won't go down. And we're hitting it with everything we have. It's a, it's a freaking prospector. Pros I mean, it's... These have got to be completely bugged. This prospector should be going out, like, super easy. Prospectors have, like, no shields. And this thing is somehow still... Weapons too hot. Still alive and kicking. Yeah, we just lost. We're done. Yeah, it's so buggy right now, guys. I'm sorry. It's completely buggy. 
completely blanky. We lost, um, we lost the, the right arm. <laughs> this thing is completely buggy. Yeah, normally this would not happen. I swear, if I wasn't streaming, I just don't think it would it wouldn't be acting like this. It's only because the game just has such a hard time for whatever reason when you're streaming. Yeah, I can't move. S yeah, I'm pretty much dead in the water at this point because anytime I try to move, it just does that. So there's really nothing I can do. Um, Let me see, where is... Docking initiated. Docking oh, damn it. That really hurt. See, Let even when I turn, down. if I turn to the right just a little bit, it starts doing this. <laughs> and at that point, I can't do anything. Look at this. <laughs> what the hell is going on? That's <laughs> stuck in a spin. Uh oh. I think I'm dead. Yeah, because I can't even get out. Hold on. Oh no. I can still move the ship around. This is weird. I can no longer. Hold on. There we go. Oh, there we go. Okay. Come on, you little punk. No, wait, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. It just wants to spin. <laughs> I can get one hit on it every time it goes back around. Wait for it. Haha, <laughs> I couldn't get it that time. How do I get it to stop? Oh, I, I mean, I can turn the power off. Engines off. Engines off. All right, looks like it's slowing us down somewhat. Where is the power off? There it is. All right. Will this stop us? Or will it just keep spinning us? I'm gonna try something. I'm essentially dead in the water anyway, so why not? Yeah, I played a little No Man's Sky here and there. I'm just not big on, on the aspects of that game, like the... Um... Oh, I can't even use the door anymore. Did I make it out? I did. Okay, cool. Alright, um... There it is. Right there. Let's see if we can steal this prospector. No, don't move. Don't move. Stay there. Oh, I don't think it's gonna let me. Normally this mission is so easy to do if if I wasn't streaming. I think it's just because I'm streaming. It has to be. 
CPU just starts to tank when you're streaming this game. Although I know a lot of people stream it, but they probably only stream it in 720. Or they, um, how do you say, uh, dumb down, or they don't have it on the sp specific mode that I have it on right now, which is probably why. Where... I was going to try to get to the Prospector if it was going to stay still, but it didn't. And I think I'm too far away from... We'd have to head into the cloud. We could literally... Might. It could take us like an hour or two if we were to start heading towards this cloud. Because there is a space station inside that cloud. So... Like, right in the dead center of the cloud. It could be over there, I think. But it would take us quite a long time. To get there. And that might not just be worth the risk. Although, it'd be kind of cool. My CPU is a uh, Intel 11900K. But... It doesn't matter how good your CPU is. This game uses too much CPU and RAM. They have not optimized that yet. So when you're just playing by itself, it's perfectly fine. But when you start, you know, uh, streaming and I, having it on ultra low uh, latency, that's when it screws up. I just, I, next time I will not stream this on, and I can't change it unless I stop the stream, so. Unfortunately, that's, that's why we're in the situation that we're currently in. Can I make it in? Alright, I made it in. See, I can't even control my door. My door is automatically open now. The float of shame. Systems activated. Systems on. Engines power low. Engines are low. Doesn't seem like it's gonna tell me where it is. I know it's there, but I can't see it. The space station. If I go really slow, I might be able to control. No, I can't see. Look, I can't go that way. I can go right, and then it'll automatically start going, so. Yeah, right's the only way that I can go. And now we're in a. Now we're in a spin that I can't control. Self-destruct on. I must say goodbye, my friends. Goodbye, Mr. Crab. Go out in a blaze of glory, my friend. No, it's- it's- the ship is acting exactly how it should. Like I said, I didn't have any of these problems last night. It's only when I stream... Might have to do a two-stream setup for this game. Thank you for the subscription. See what I mean? 
What the hell? It looks like it's like running at five frames, but I'm literally getting, and I kid you not, around 50 right now. But yet, the game makes it feel like it's running. And I'll show you this. I'll show you that it's running at 50 here. Okay, there we go. Now, it's a little hard for you to tell. Wow, okay, so if you look in the frames, it says it's running at 17 frames. That's a game issue, because in my performance, it says it's running at 52, 58, 46, 53. That is so weird. Thank you for the 100 likes, everybody. Appreciate it. Why don't we get away from this system? Let's assume this system is just having a bad day. Let's move over to a different system here. Welcome to the ASOP Vehicle Retrieval System. Vehicle selected. Stand by. Your vehicle has been delivered to the following location. Head to We're gonna head to uh Let's see. Well Microtech. There we go. No, let's head here. We're gonna head to Blackjack, which is Art Corp. Hold on, we need to go to Pad Two. Let's head to Let's head to Art Corp. Where's this mission? This mission. Where is it at? Oh, cause I see. Okay, I need to change that. There we go. We're heading 22 million miles away. Million kil kilometers. Like I said, if you're not streaming this game, you guys are going to have no, no, no problems, I think. It really just dies down the CPU when I'm streaming it at, um, at uh, the very, very low latency. All right, this is going to take a little time. I'm going to try to work on a Sniper Elite video tomorrow and have it out. Um, I'm planning on doing another 24-7. I think I'm more going to do Dishonored as the next one. So hopefully you guys will get excited for that. Um, what other things can we do here? I don't know. Do you guys know of any new games that are coming out anytime soon? Is there anything?
I haven't actually been to Art Corp in a very long time. Art Corp is the entire planet that's a city. Kind of like Coruscant from Star Wars. I have 64 gigabytes of RAM in my PC. I got a very beefy PC, uh, RTX 3090, Intel's uh, 11900K, 64 gigabytes of RAM. I've got a beefy system. Like I said, the moment I would turn this stream off, it would go back to working perfect. The moment I would do that. Um, right now, because I'm streaming and I clicked ultra low latency on the stream, that sucks up even more CPU power. So not only is the game running its normal CPU that it does, which it takes a lot, my OBS is running even more and YouTube is running even more CPU because I did low um, low latency. And what that does is, with all of that put together, it makes it ridiculously laggy to play the game. Even though, without it, it wouldn't be. If I would have just turned on normal mode instead of ultra low, but unfortunately you can't switch it midstream. Once you're, once you streamed, you're stuck with ultra low latency. You can't switch it off. No, 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 no. Uh, lower lower uh, PCs are able to play this game now. It didn't used to be the case, but you can now. It's actually a lot better. My recommendation is look at the uh, the required specs on the website, and then you can make the judgment there. Normally when I'm playing by myself, um, not streaming, I get, gosh, I mean, around 80 frames. Unless I'm in a city and it might jump down to 40 or 50. I'm not sure. Star Citizen's ever going to jump to console? I don't. This game could not run on console. It's, it's so. This game is so much more ambition than a console could ever handle. I don't. I don't think it's possible. Yeah, the telemetry website of robertsspaceindustries.com will show it. All right, let's see if I can do this. It's another atmospheric one. I'm tired of atmospheric ones because it just seems like the game is not running good in atmosphere right now. It's gonna take a while to cool down. Ten seconds. Because we just did a big jump. So, we're just going to check out this target, hopefully with no problems, we'll see. I have rarely ever go out here to this area, so...
Dre is coming out on July 9th. That's two days after my birthday. Guys, I will be gone visiting family on my birthday, July 17th. I'll be gone from the, uh... Let's see. I'll be gone from, like, the 14th through the 20th. I'll try to have a bunch of videos prepared. See, the alt altimeter is not working. It's 118,000, which that doesn't make any sense. Should be showing up soon. They've got a lock on me. Wow, we're 7,000 in? Still hasn't showed up. Must be a tiny ship. There it is. All right, and away. That will probably destroy it and take it out. Thank you, uh, Rifyal. That should really take it out. Once they actually get there. Why am I only getting so little frames? It has to be because I'm streaming. It's the only thing. Yeah, I'm getting so... This is almost too hard to control, man. It's like it's unplayable right now. It really is. Oh my god, what the hell? Alright, he's done. Okay. There we go. So what that means right there... shooting at me. I don't have any weapons on me to go down here. I don't think it's nice. All right. Let's see if I can't. Gosh, the frames are just so low. I've I've never I haven't played Star Citizen with this low frames in like two years. And again, I, I'm telling you all, oh, no, we can't get back in. Let's see. I thought it was a lot lower. Yes, we can. Nice. Cool. All right, let's go. Oh, it's a restricted area. They're going to shoot. Damn it. Yep. Oh, no.
All right, good news is they can't hit me. Yes, they can. I just saw it. Okay, I gotta go. Gotta get out of here. They're gonna destroy my ship. No, I've never really played Counter-Strike, to be honest. Okay, go, 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 go. No, go, 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 go. He's gonna take you out quick. Get out of here. All right. Okay, why don't we... We're gonna set up shop in a new location. Where are we at? We're at our core. Okay. Benji point. Yeah, you can you can strategically find a way to park so that the uh, the turrets can't get you. Normally, it says restricted before you even get to it, and they're already firing at you. That's why it was kind of weird. I was like, why are they not firing at me yet? Yes, the bounties that begin with the question are entrenched bounties. Like I said, I rarely ever come out here, so... I just can't believe I'm getting this low. I honestly don't understand why. I love we got close enough. There we go. I think I'll make Arb Court my location for a little while. Since I really never do anything in this area, it'd be nice to kind of explore some of the planets or moons. Let's get a top-down view here. Like a glove. Landing complete. Have a pleasant stay. Like I said, the moment that I would stop. Oops. The moment I would stop streaming, those numbers will go up significantly. It'll go up to like 60 frames.
Oh yeah. Mr. H, I've, I've played this game for like six years. Everything you're saying, I know tenfold. <laughs> I didn't just pick the game up. I'm not sure the layout of this specific station because I don't really come here. No worries. I just don't want you to think I'm a, I'm a new player. Yeah, everything's just loading in super, super low, like slow and... Here is Arc Core. This is specifically, like I said, the entire planet is this, it's a big city. Still can't believe why I'm getting such low frames, though. That's the only thing I can explain is just the fact that I'm streaming it in low latency. I shouldn't have done that. There's no way to change it. Oh, there's a cargo center here. Let's head to the gallery. Yes, it's a very beautiful game. Especially when you go into third person and you just like slow yourself to a walk. I mean, it's just immerse yourself. From breathtaking views, incredible dining to unmatched shopping, Crusader is calling. Stay at the luxurious accommodations, tour Empire class shipyards, and bask in a sunset that is true. Unforgettable. Whether you're just looking to spend the day cloud hopping with the storm walls, or relaxing by green circles, infinite spa, with shuttles arriving daily, what are you waiting for? So you want to pick up some different, um... For a ship, you know, we've got the Vanguard, so now we can equip it. Well, we don't have a lot of money. We only have 20000 because we spent so much money on it. But that's just something you could do. Uh, what else is at this station? I'm not really sure. Frames. 13 frames. This is, like, really bad here. Food court is that way. What's up here? The moment I would stop streaming, all of this would go away. <coughs> There's the bar. Oh, hey. Hi. Some bars actually work. Like the bar in Lorville, you can actually have him get you drinks and stuff. And the one in Microtech work. I guess the one in uh, Artcore doesn't. Well, I guess this this does this place not have a unless it's down here. Oh, they do. They have a weapon shop here, but maybe they don't have an armor shop here. They've got a clothes. Can pick up new digs. But it doesn't look like at least I'm not seeing a weapon shop. 
What, uh... What wep... What ship weapons do they have here? They got the F-17 nose turret. The size 3. This allows you to, to have two size 1s. Scatter guns. Anything of significance. Maybe the Omskis, the cannons. But see, you gotta remember that I have a size 5 that I can equip on this new um, ship that I have. So I'm looking for a size 5. Size 4 is too small. I could put a size 4 on there with the gimbals. So I could put that on there, but I wouldn't want... I want a size 5. Size 1s, 2s, Drake Buttoneer, Spindle Mount. 1, Sucker Punch, size 1s. These are all too small. You'd have to use the specific uh, Urkel dot, whatever it's called, to... Figure out where ev where weapons and certain stuff are to get size five. I mean, I could probably put uh, si I'd have to go to Lorville and go to the business district to put um, size five. What's it called? Uh, gosh, what's that laser weapon that that Lorville has? I can't remember. But yeah, no real significant good ones for the ship I currently have here. So they got a food court, and I'll let you check it out. Even though there's such low frames. It's, oh my god, it's so bad. This is ridiculous. The moment I stop streaming, this will go up to like 50. <laughs> Definitely the AI... The, the system is bugged. This stuff should be... Yeah, see, I look... Like, this is how you know it's bugged. This says a hundred, and this says a hundred. When have you guys seen me eat? When have you seen me drink? I have been on this death. I haven't died in a while. I It should be down to probably 80 at least, maybe 75 when it comes to these. But they haven't come down at all. That tells me the servers are just totally messed up. I don't know if- I don't think you can eat the noodles. You'd have to get these things here. So you got water, you got fizzy cola. Juice bar. Looks like there's there's yeah. no, nothing here that you can do at the juice bar yet. Burrito bar you can definitely eat here. And they should I don't know where the where are the burritos? I think maybe they're on this side. Here they are. Yeah, so you can eat burritos. Buy some books. He's staring into my soul. Elroy's. So you got nutrition bars. Pizza, but you can't eat it yet. There's another pizza shop over here. Is that edible? Probably not, no. Pizza's not edible in the game yet. Hot dogs are, though.
You can pick up some ice cream. Lieutenant Dan! Ice cream! Let's get some ice cream. Mmm. Melts in your mouth, not in your hand. Yummy! Wow, she just engulfed that thing, didn't she? Why does it keep bringing me there? <laughs> Oh, there's a medical rescue contract in this area? What is that one? I don't know if I've ever seen that. Need a hand delivery, Kovalex delivery. Yeah, I don't see it. Where did that thing go? It was just there. I saw it. A medical thing. There it is. Medical rescue. Requires emergency medical treatment at MT Data Center. Oh, I see. That's just a real player. Only 2,689? That, that wouldn't even be worth it, dude. Come on, bro. Who do you think we are? I know, I didn't think it was a service beacon. I thought it was a... And I thought it was one of the other ones. Like, it normally, when that contracts show up like that, they're usually under that investigation. Thank you. You're my brown eyed girl. Do you remember when we used to sing? Sha la 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 this game is just it's so it's so ambitious you you have moments with it especially at nighttime that I just absolutely love every single moment that I get to treasure with this it's just so much more fun to play when I'm not re when I'm not streaming it because when I'm streaming it there's always usually problems that come up because the game is just not good at running with other programs. So, and I know a lot of other streamers out there do it and they figured out how to do it. I would just need to figure that out. Maybe streaming it in 720 would make the game run significantly better. You know, there's so many things. And I'm only getting 16 frames right here where the moment I stop streaming that would go up to like 50 it's and that's that's like wow like i can't believe it sucks that much there's so much optimization that they need to do um to fix that which it'll come just takes time obviously we've been saying that for years and years but i will say this what i have played out of this game over the last i've been playing i originally got my account in 2016 that member, the first streams that I did for Star Citizen? Back in 2016, where I would die every five seconds. I remember the first thing that I did was I... Was at Port Alisair. The first thing I did when I first started playing Star Citizen, first ever thing, was... I got onto the landing pad at Port Alisair, and I knew that you could do EVA. So I got off the landing pad and tried to do EVA. Well, there was a bug at the time where you didn't have your jetpack when you're in EVA. So I just started floating away from the uh, from from the landing pad in Port Alisair 
and there was nothing I could do. I couldn't control, control my character because I, there was a bug at the time that had <laughs> that, that you couldn't couldn't use your jetpack. So that was like my first experience in Star Citizen. The video is on the channel. If you look up, if you type in Star Cit Citizen under my main channel, under that search icon that shows at the very right of all of the tabs on my channel, you can go back to some of the very, very first Star Citizen videos. I might actually want to do that at some point, just to kind of reminisce on some of the old Star Citizen videos that I used to uh, used to watch or used to, to experience in. I tried both Star Citizen and Elite Dangerous out on the same day. Um, and I literally, like, I enjoyed both of them, but I had way more fun playing Elite Dangerous at the time because it was a finished product. And, you know, but then I slowly started to realize that the ambition for Star Citizen is extremely more than anything else I've ever experienced. So whereas a lot of new people, they jump in, they're just so lost and confused, they give up on it so easily. I'm past that point. You know, it gets frustrating when certain bugs happen and things don't work the way you want to. But I see the potential. And I've spent and sunk so many hours that it's already paid for the time. What I've paid into the game is already paid for by the time that I've put out with the game. And... There's a really, really good patch coming out here in the next couple of weeks called um, 13 point, or 3.17.2. And it's supposed to be a patch that's going to make the game a lot better. So I'm really looking forward to that. There's going to be new uh, derelict ships to explore, like the Reclaimer. New missions to do. Uh, more polish. All that kind of stuff. So I'm really, really looking forward to it all. Um... It's no longer on the Crytek engine. It's still based off of the Crytek, but it's no longer on it. It's on Lumberyard. They are trying to go to Vulcan. At some point, they're working on the systematics for that, which will make the game run a lot better. Um, you know, it's just, you gotta, you gotta go with the times. You gotta understand you're gonna have problems, you know. Yes, we know it's been an alpha for a long time. They've also got the Squadron 42 single-player game that they're making. We haven't got to play that. We've only got to... The last time we got to see anything on that was two years ago. So, more than two years ago. Um, so there's a lot of things that are exciting to come. We just want them to come, but it just takes time. And I know there's people that have backed this game and put thousands and thousands of dollars into it and maybe you know they had accidents in life and they'll no longer ever be able to play it you know and that that sucks when you've been a project when you've been a part of something for so long but it takes so long that life gets in the way and you can't do it anymore for whatever reason it might be um but i'm talking about we haven't seen new gameplay like you know how we had that little slice that we had a few years back like an hour worth we haven't seen anything since then Hey, what's up, Mr. Kid? How you doing? Um, but yeah, so I'm... You know, I still play this like every night when I'm not recording, and I still like and prefer to do that because I could just relax and do some missions, gain a little bit of money, get a better ship like I, you just saw me do at the beginning of this stream. Uh, so I really, really enjoy that, and I will continue. And, and I think in the next... When 3.18 comes out, I believe they're going to be doing a wipe... Possibly. So that means the ship I just bought is going to be gone. And we'll have to start all over again. That's okay. Because we're still in Alpha. And once the main game comes out, then we won't have to start all over again. But you, you take little by little and you, you can find things that you love about this game. I can't wait till we can have the choice of actually apprehending a bounty instead of destroying them. Where you can put them in your ship and you can haul them off and take them in and collect the bounty like that, dead or alive. When that comes, I have not played TMNT yet, no. Uh, I've, I've, I've had people actually say I should play it. Maybe I'll take a look at it and maybe do a stream on it or something. It's on Game Pass, right? The new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles game. Maybe I'll do that tomorrow or something. I don't know. I'll take a look. But um, I'm very excited for the future of what's going to be had here. So bear with us. It's still going to be a work in progress for the next couple of years. But um, I'm excited to see where it's going to go. And obviously we're going to have uh, Starfield in between to kind of whet our appetites for this to come out. Starfield is a different type of game. It's a space exploration game, but it's an RPG made off of uh, Skyrim and, and Elder Scrolls type of uh, and Fallout type of mechanics. 
which is different than what Star Citizen is. So you can't compare them. It's just impossible to compare. You know, uh, Starfield isn't going to have seamless planet landing. Is it going to have that type of gameplay? That's not what it's supposed to be. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, looking forward to the future. But other than that, that's going to be it for today. I really do hope you all enjoyed. Um, next time, I'll remember not to put it on low latency mode. Thank you so much uh, for the donation that we received today. That $2 super chat will definitely go into paying the bills, so I appreciate it. I just want to say love you all, take care of yourselves, and I will see you on the next stream. Peace.